hi guys so welcome to another vlog i'm sorry i've not filmed in literally the longest time but the reason is is because of what you're about to watch basically my eczema has flared up a lot recently to the point where i haven't been able to control it um in any way so i want to document it for a couple of reasons but basically you're gonna see two intros you're gonna see this intro and then you're also gonna see another intro the first intro that i did i was kind of like just getting straight into it um and it was kind of like when i initially was like writing on a blog um but i just decided to sit down and do a pop proper little intro for you so Basically, I suffer with um, eczema, eczema, whatever you want to call it, and I had a really bad flare-up in like 2013, um, where we didn't know what it was. I had no idea that I had eczema. I didn't. I could not understand what it was. It looked exactly like I look like now, um, and we just we couldn't get it under control. Went to the doctors. Was told it was acne. Got prescribed acne um, medication obviously it didn't work because it wasn't acne and then finally we got to the solution that it was eczema i got put on steroid cream it cleared up um and now however long later eight years um it's flared up again and she's back and she's ready to take over my life basically the reason i'm making this video is because when i decide to search up eczema a lot of it was people that were covered in eczema from head to toe has had it since they were babies were going through like topical steroid withdrawal which is basically where your skin gets so used to the steroids that the strongest steroid stops working for you so your skin is just left crawling but i don't have that um my eczema eczema it's not genetics my eczema is triggered by something and um, we think it's mainly triggered triggered in winter because i only get it in winter but as well as that we think it's triggered by detergents, perfumes and stuff like that. But yeah, I basically have it all over my neck. I usually get it on my face, um, but right now it's actually doing okay. And then I also get it on my arms. Um, but this is just a vlog from when I decided to start vlogging my eczema right up until when I got my steroid creams. I haven't found anyone that has the same eczema as me. And if this can help someone, then I would rather put it out there. I will, of course, still be doing makeup content and clothing content and everything like that. Just right now, while I can't film those videos because I can't put any makeup on my face, um, I'm going to start these little vlog series. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps someone. Um, of course, it's not going to be to everyone's cup of tea. So feel free to not watch this um, or watch this, not watch this. Um yeah feel free to not watch this and maybe wait for a clothing video or makeup video but i'd really appreciate if you did watch it um and i'm gonna link an organization that really 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 helped me with my eczema so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching hey guys i just want to show you the insides of eczema um basically i've suffered with eczema weirdly you would think a lot longer um then the recent times but constantly for the past two years i had it once and like a really bad flare-up when i was probably about 13 and since then i didn't have a flare-up until about two years ago when my eczema has gotten really dry and really painful um i have a doctor's appointment on wednesday but i thought i would just film this series um and take it week by week i am um, just to show you my process of what my doctor says and what i'm going to be doing so i have this massive red patch here which sometimes strangely enough goes away on its own but i've had it now for like well over a month a month and a half and then as you can see here like my neck is usually not the place to be affected and then i don't know if you can see but i have a massive patch on my neck and then in terms of my body I have this patch here which right now she's calm and then as you can see these little spots and then on this arm here you might not even be able to see this yeah you can't I have like a patch here but basically I don't know what's causing my eczema eczema whatever you want to call it um all I do know is I'm struggling so I've kind of controlled it on my face as you can see um I have like a patch here and I suffer with it on my eyes this has just you know made me realize how i don't know anyone that suffers with eczema um i literally know no one and i think it's time for me to put this out here um 
because I can't keep living like this. It affects my life. It affects my confidence. It affects if I can and can't do things. Um, Like two weeks ago, my body, or no, last week, my body was covered in eczema to the point I couldn't put clothes on. It was that painful. So as you can tell, I'm pissed off. I'm ready for this to be over and done with. I'm ready for my eczema to not exist anymore. And for some reason right now, it is the most triggered it has been ever. I have a GP appointment on Wednesday. Today is currently Sunday. It's Sunday night actually. Um, so I have two days of work and then I have a GP appointment, which I'm so excited about. It's on Wednesday, like I said, a half two. And the Irish Skin Foundation told me what I need to get from them and what I need to get myself. So I'm praying to God that they get rid of this. Um because your gal is struggling. Good morning. So it is the next day and I'm trying to work through it's 7 a.m. and my mom's on night time sleeping. It's even worse. I woke up with like this patch here. My outer lobe is all this is my neck. Um but I'm gonna wear a towel neck today because it's quite cold. And it'll just save my skin from being really itchy. But yeah, I'm kind of feeling a bit disheartened about this little patch. But I'm like my forehead and stuff. But when you actually feel my skin, my skin feels smooth. Like, it doesn't feel buff. So I'm very confused, except for these. These. Um, but I'm feeling a bit disheartened. Because I was going to go to the gym today, but if anyone has the big eczema nose, excessive sweating actually irritates it more. I think it actually looks worse in the mirror. Hold on, as you can see. I'm a bit disheartened, but I power through. I have to go to work, so I don't have time to bitch and moan. Um, which sounds bad, but I really don't. So, yeah, I'm going to get my shit ready to go to work and then i am gonna head to work and just hope that she doesn't flare up and hope that no one looks stares or comments so guys this is not the way i wanted this video to go as you can see my eczema has gotten really bad on my face this is my neck um yeah I've been sent home from work because it was flaring up really bad in work with the heat and with the stress. Um, I haven't checked my arms yet. To be honest, I don't want to consider this what my body looks like. But two more days and I go to the doctor's. I'm not going into work tomorrow because work literally is probably the worst place I can be for stress, anxiety and with this, with the heat. And like, yeah, so this how I am this evening. I'm probably not going to film anymore. Um, today I have cried the whole way home. I cried so many times in work today. My confidence is has hit rock bottom, and yeah, I'm just in a lot of pain. Good morning, guys. This is my flare up today. It's kind of on my face. Neck. If anything, it's getting worse. I'm glad I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. So I'm just trying to keep it settled. I'm just trying to keep it. Um, like calm and non irritable and like non itchy, which is proving quite difficult. But yeah, this is my eyes, this is my neck, and the heat is on, which doesn't help because if you have eczema, you know, the heat irritates your eczema more. I haven't checked my arms today, um, but yeah, my neck is kind of starting to look wrinkly now, just here from where the eczema is going tight. And then you moisturise and then tighten the moisturise, but that'll be sorted by tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I've been playing half two tomorrow. The weather is literally refra reflecting how I feel today. It is raining all day. It's so gloomy. Um, but I do have parcels on the way, which is exciting. But um, yeah, I'm just... I can't wait for my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I can't even explain. I'm getting there. We're getting through and we're getting it to work tomorrow and i'm gonna be put on all the creams and 
steroids and everything like that that I need. Week one and we're on day two and day three we're gonna have our appointment and we're gonna have solutions and I'm probably gonna cry. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a great day and I will probably chat to you tomorrow before my appointment. Okay, hi guys. So it is currently Wednesday. It is quarter to 11. Um, as you can see, eczema is still very much here. Looking like chemical burns. These patches are getting bigger and so is that one there. I'm in a lot of pain. I've been trying to like hide the burns um, because yeah, I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain. And you can see it's on my face. It's still on my arms. Um, but it's mainly on my neck and it's just getting sore and sore by the day. But my appointment is in four hours. Um, I'm feeling optimistic. I just can't wait to get steroids on my skin, which I know some people are against steroids. And to be honest, I do have a fear of topical steroid withdrawal. But do you know what? For now, if it gets rid of the pain and if it gets rid of it, I don't give a shit. I had a really good sleep last night and I was thinking about my eczema a lot and thinking about, you know, what if... Um, and then I stopped myself because I was like, no, Leah, there's no what if you are going to do what you can to get rid of this. Um, and that is exactly what I'm planning on doing. So I have an appointment, like I said, in four hours. I have to. Um, it's quarter to 11 now. So, yeah, kind of my plans for the day are to just chill out. Hopefully, very soon, I'll be back to filming the videos. I'll be getting rid of this eczema all over my face and especially the chemical burns. All over my neck i've got a list on my phone from the irish skin foundation of what i need to ask for and i've been told specifically leah you are not to allow them to give out anything else so the information that i have been told that i need to get is one percent hydrocortisone ointment for my face and then betnovate for my body that's what my skin person that i've been chatting to has said that i need also how cute is this photo of me and joseph I think it's super cute. I'm just gonna show you the uh, photos of what my neck was like when I originally rang. Um, so this is what my skin was starting off as, and that's it now. So yeah, it's just gotten worse to be honest, like, Look at that, and then look at this. And that was taken on the 22nd of January. It is now the 2nd of February. So, yeah. Love that for me. I'm just in pain. I am in pain. And you guys are gonna help me get through this week. And hopefully in seven days time it'll be gone. Because I'm struggling, like struggling. But yeah, I'll tell you after my appointment. Okay, hi guys. I am back from the doctors. Bit of a weird situation. Um, as you can see, this is my current state of eczema, eczema. Patches are really big at the moment. Um, my arm. Yeah, so went to the doctors and basically the story went like this. So we went in, she asked me what I was here for, I told her I was here for my eczema and she basically, not to drag her, but she didn't really provide me with any advice um, or any solutions. I gave her potential, potential? potential reasonings of what my eczema could be triggered by and basically the response was, yeah, it could be. So then I had to ask for um, a dermatology referral and she said, yeah, no problem. Um, but then we decided to just get allergy tested instead because it makes much of muchness to me. Um, but for now, she did give me creams. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was, it's a difficult one because I guess she's a GP, but I'm pretty sure she specializes in like parts of dermatology. Um, so she did give me some an information sheet on what I should and shouldn't have and should and shouldn't do, um, which actually was very, very helpful in that regards. But in regards of telling me to what my possible triggers are um, or what my possible 
like definition of my eczema is no help it's just so strange because she dealt with me back in 2013 when i had a really bad flare-up like worse than this and she was super helpful but now i just felt like i got no help but i'm just going to show you the bits that she advised me for my face she prescribed me the hydrocortisone ointment in one percent um this is for my face so she gave me that and then for my body she gave me betonavate ointment and she gave me 0.1% which I'm very very confused by because I was always told I need a higher percentage for my body than I do for my face and this is a lower percentage but I don't know if betonavate's stronger I don't know so she prescribed me that and then she told me to use emollients for my body in terms of um moisturizing it so i picked up the double base emollient gel i also have the cerave moisturizing cream i got the big pot um just because it is just gonna last better for me and it's i don't know i just thought i'd picking it up and then she also um suggested this it's the cerave if it'll focus my autofocus has gone to shit. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's a hydrating cleanser. Um, because the other one that I use is the CeraVe SA Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And while that's great, um, I'm now no longer allowed to use acids on my face. I'm now going to hop in the shower. I, as you can see, my patches, they're just getting a bit inflamed now. And I kind of just want to get all the shit onto me. Um, so I'm going to see what I need to do with all these because she told me to put the emollient on before I put on the um steroids but to me that doesn't make sense because I feel like you're creating a barrier but she knows more than me so I will chat back to you I'll chat to you guys in about 20 minutes let you know how I'm feeling okay hi so i'm just out of the shower and as you can see my skin really hates me right now and um, this always happens when i get out of the shower i don't know why it just is she just hates me um but i'm gonna apply my emollient now so i have the double base this is my first time using this so i'm intrigued to see how my skin feels after it because usually my skin still feels quite itchy after applying emollient or like creams okay there's no pain so far oh there is okay there's a little bit of pain here but this is the one that's like raw red i'm just gonna apply it to the rest of my body it does wait 30 minutes before you apply your steroid cream. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So it is 6.42 right now and I am going to wait till uh, 10 past seven to apply my gels. I'm gonna avoid moisturizing my skin with my normal cream. Um, I'm just gonna stick to these for now. I'm gonna pop these on in 30 minutes, but again, like you'll see, how I gone on because if anyone's ever had um if anyone has ever had steroid creams before you know they burn they burn when you first put them on when your skin hasn't had them in a while this is my skin now she's just really irritated at the moment she'll calm down she will calm down I also think this camera is exaggerating how I look to be honest I don't think I look this crazy but yeah um my skin feels quite soft right now after applying that. It feels really nice. Um, so I'm hoping it sits like that. But yeah, I am going to jump into bed. Um, I'm going to stick on some YouTube. Um, but in 30 minutes, I will come back to you and we will apply these hair creams together and hope that they don't burn. Um, but yeah, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, hi guys. So... I've just been editing parts of this vlog um, but it is now time to put on the ointment. Um, I'm really scared, like really scared but we're going to do it. So I'm going to start with the hydrocortisone. This is for my face and my neck. Um, I can't lie, I'm bloody scared. 
so this is the ointment version so it's gonna hydrate my skin as well as getting rid of all of this to be honest i can't really feel it on my skin the only one i felt it on was on this one and um, but now i'm gonna put on the better bait but I, yeah i think because it's an ointment it is actually um it's soothing it at the same time so that is the ointments done for tonight um when my when this sinks in before i go to bed i'm gonna put on some more of this um the double base ammonium gel on my neck and then i'm also going to put some of this on my actual face the CeraVe so yeah I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in the morning I'm gonna edit this vlog up to now and um, we, we still have another seven days to go so I hope you're enjoying it I'm gonna go now I'm gonna let this all sink in and I will check back with you tomorrow morning to see if there's any change yeah see you in the morning so guys I'm actually gonna end this vlog here um that is because I decided I want to show you the build-up of to my steroids and you can see how quickly eczema flares up so the next vlog will be the seven days where i take the steroids and apply them constantly for the seven days and you can see the improvement and then we'll see what i vlog after that but yeah i'll see you in my next vlog it's coming very very soon so yeah see you in a week's time bye